Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all my non-cisgendered brick buddies out there, welcome to another episode of PJ Builds Bricks. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think this week, maybe instead of calling you brick buddies, I can always do that. Instead of calling you guys brick buddies, I think what I'm going to do is quote a certain gentleman who's been involved in some space travel recently. You know, a certain bald guy that we all know who, yeah. And something to do with space. You know, this bald gentleman, we've all given him a bit of our money over the last couple of years. Um, of course, I'm talking about Mr. Dom Toretto. After all we know, I don't got brick buddies. I got family. <laughs> no, that is so bad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, sidebar here. Um, did you guys see that movie, Fast and Furious 9? It was like... I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to say anything negative because I know a lot of people put a lot of work into movies and it's really hard to do and I respect that but um firing a car into space to save the world yeah just wondering what are they going to do next like what's Fast 10 going to be are they going to like modify DeLorean and travel back in time to save the planet uh, maybe take a page from Star Trek and save the whales who knows It'll be interesting. Maybe just travel back to a time when Dom wasn't so fast and furious, but he was a little bit slower and just mildly annoyed. Who knows? Um, it'll be interesting to see. <laughs> anyway, here we are on episode number 13. That's right, folks. This is the penultimate episode in the build where we're putting together the NASA X LEGO Space Shuttle Discovery set. My man, what a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> I mean, we've had some pretty interesting sponsors. We've had some experimental technology that didn't quite go very well. And it, you know what? It's been a learning experience for me, and I certainly love and appreciate all you guys for hanging out with me during this whole thing. Um, so anyway, getting down to it. Last episode, we talked a little bit about the landing procedures. Uh, this week, we're going to be working on bag number 16, which is going to contain two small engines that are going to be sitting here on either side of the tail. Uh, most people don't really give any thought to these guys. These are called the Orbiter Maneuvering System and the Reaction Control System, or the OMS RCS pods. So I'll have a little bit more on that later, but I wanted to real quick give you guys all an update on the Hubble telescope, which you can see right here. Um, good news, right? NASA was successful in bringing it back. Yeah, let me get a whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. All right. But uh, so anyway, yeah, it looks like what happened was that there was a glitch in a circuit that controls the power that goes to the payload computer. Um, basically, if the power going to the payload computer goes above safe operating levels, uh, the circuit is going to trip and tell the payload computer to go into safe mode. Kind of like if you have like the hair dryer and the uh, curling iron going at the same time, it's going to trip the circuit on your circuit board. You got to go switch it back so you can get power back to your bathroom. Never been there? group of sisters it happened a lot <laughs> but anyway um that turns out to be what put it into safe mode and they were able to successfully switch to a backup uh computer system and now the hubble is back in operation so it'd be really interesting to see uh what would the james webb tells what james webb telescope uh launching soon just what the hubble and the james webb telescope can do together uh that being said of course my build drink this week right here we got a uh Old Stitch Brown Ale. It's a uh, historic refer historic <laughs> wow a historic recipe uh, from Colonial Williamsburg. So as always, got my Philadelphia Union supporter shield, Sons of Ben bottle opener right here. Come on to you. Pop this guy open and let's see. Oh yeah. Definitely hits it. That's really good. I love these historic recipe beers just because they're, uh, they're just, they're good. <laughs> I haven't had a bad one. Anyway, cheers to you guys. And now on to the world famous build surface.
put this last little bit on here, the last R OMS RCS pod on. Uh, let's see, it should probably go that way. All right, and there we are. All right, bag 16 is finished, and the OMR OMS RCS pods have been attached. Um, so, what the heck is one of these OMR OMS RCS pods, and what does it do? I'm certainly glad you asked about that. I mean, first things first, we have these little tiny engines right here. These are called the Orbital Maneuvering System, or the OMS. So the OMS contains a AJ-10-190 engine on each side, and those engines are manufactured by Aerogel. And these engines come basically from the same design that uh, took the Apollo capsule to the moon. Um, you know, if you've ever seen video of it or maybe remember Apollo 13, the engine bell that was damaged in the Apollo 13 uh, mission and what you saw in that movie is similar to the engines that are used in the OMS, um, in the OMS pod right here. So these are fairly low thrust engines. They only put about out about 6,000 pounds of thrust. And the reason that these engines can be so little and they can get away with that is because obviously in space, there's little to no resistance out there. Um, no gravity, no wind, nothing to really fight against. So once you're up into space, uh, you don't really need any uh, high-powered thrust. It's more efficient to use something less powered. And they don't use, they don't fire these guys up until they've breached that boundary called the Kármán line. They don't fire them up until they get up into space and are ready to put themselves into orbit. Hence the name of it, the Orbit Maneuvering System. Um, so basically what happens is the shuttle's going up. All right, cool. We've reached a certain point. These things fire, and they're going to put the shuttle into its orbit. And so, flying around, actually the space shuttle orbits like this, upside down, going around the Earth. And the gear is not up, obviously. <laughs> there we go. Flying around the Earth, pod bay doors are open here. And then what happens eventually when they go to uh, deorbit is they flip over. Space shuttle turns around. These little OMS, OM, OMS engines fire up and it slows down the space shuttle to uh, somewhere around 16,450 miles an hour, which allows the shuttle to fall out of orbit and back to Earth. So I mentioned that the uh, the shuttle does a flip, right? Does a flip, turns around. That's because of these little guys here, these little tiny pieces. These are called the RCS engines. Um, so what these do are basically the steering wheel. Now, you're going to find these on just about every single spacecraft. The ISS has them. Most satellites have them. Um, every spacecraft from uh, uh, Mercury on up to even the newer, newer spacecrafts have them. These are extremely tiny engines that put out somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds of thrust. Um, and as you can see on a the shuttle, they have quite a few right here on this model. So what these guys do is they are responsible for the small movements that the space shuttle makes. So we've gone up. We're up here. Space Shuttle has fired these the uh, OMS engines, put it into orbit, and now it needs to do that flip. So the way it does this is that these the little tiny RCS engines fire up, and those are the ones that flip the Space Shuttle over. They're also the ones that are responsible for, of course, flipping the Space Shuttle back and turning it around so it can do its deorbit burn procedure and come back to Earth. Um, also, they're highly involved in the landing as well because they are what actually allows the space shuttle to do its roll maneuvers, its yaw maneuvers, and its S-turn maneuvers up until the space shuttle hits probably about 40, 45,000 miles per hour. At that point, the rudder and the ailerons take over. So they're really neat. They're also a, a, a fail-safe system for the OMS engines. So what they'll do is if, let's say, the shuttle goes up and the OMS engines put it into orbit, but it's a little bit wonky, it's gone a little bit too far, instead of firing the OMS engines and burning off a lot of fuel using those, they'll use these RCS engines to kind of make the space shuttle chill out a little bit and put it back into orbit. And as you can see, they have quite a few here. They have a couple on the front right here that you can see. They have Most of them are located in the back. There's some located on the sides right there. So... They use quite a few of these on the space shuttle. So it's a really neat, uh, really neat thing that they got going with it. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is the OMS RCS pods. And with that, that's going to bring this episode to a conclusion. So, you know, again, I would like to thank you guys for hanging out and watching me build this thing. Um, we're going to have the final episode on this build coming up very soon. And we got something kind of special planned for you. So fingers crossed that it gets all pulled off correctly. 
And as always, don't forget, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video, ring the bell so you get notifications of any additional videos, and most importantly, tell your friends. Tell your musician friends to send me their music and their links. Um, you can use the comment section down below. You can email me at pjbuildsbricks at gmail or hit me up on Twitter at pjbuildsbricks. Drop your link and maybe I'll use your music in the uh, build portion of the videos if it kind of fits the vibe of everything. So looking forward to that too. Um, let's see, what else? Special thanks to Aleworks Brewing Company, of course, for the, uh, the Old Stitch Brown Ale. Delicious. Oh yeah, of course. How could I forget? The most important piece of life advice that I could ever give you. Don't forget, please, for the love of everything, don't forget that the only time that it's acceptable to wear Crocs is when you're picking up your Legos. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for hanging out and stay healthy out there.